world, open field. I don't know, it seemed better on paper, man. I'm going home. Linear levels are so last year. Why have a level which is one way to go when you can create worlds that can be explored in any direction? And as games and open worlds have evolved, they kept getting bigger and better. So the question comes to mind, what is the biggest open world in any video game ever? That's what we're gonna find out today. And before I see someone in the comments say, what about Minecraft and No Man's Sky? No. I'm not including those because those worlds are procedurally generated, meaning they keep on generating the worlds as you walk to the edge of it, essentially creating worlds that are infinite. As for today's video, we are looking at the five behemoths of open worlds, the five biggest open worlds ever out of any video game. And while you guys look at those worlds, I'll be exploring this lovely open world. Damn, look at the graphics out here. Just as a frame of reference, here are the sizes of some popular open worlds. There's Skyrim, GTA 5, and Far Cry 5. And here are the sizes. Got it? Good, because the first open world we're looking at is Asheron's Call. Remember how big GTA 5 felt when you played it? Well, like I just mentioned, it had a size of 81 square kilometers. Asheron's Call? 1,296 square kilometers. In this MMORPG, you can explore this massive world with a variety of different locations and things to see. Yeah, some of these places may seem a bit barren and a lot of the assets are clearly reused. But don't forget that this game was made all the way back in 1999, back when 3D games were just starting to be made. Pretty crazy to have a fully 3D map that was this big all the way back then. Moving on from RPGs to racing games, we have Test Drive Unlimited 2, which has a map size of 1,600 square kilometers. This game is actually a unique one because it actually has two open world maps for you to drive around in. You can visit the island of Ibiza or the island of Oahu. So Spain or Hawaii, those are two pretty good options in my books. And it's like having two open world maps in one game. You could stay on road and visit the cities or you can go anywhere off road and drive around in the beautiful landscapes. And like I said, it is a racing game so you'll have fun speeding through these islands. And next we have The Crew, a game where the developers couldn't decide what city to have the game in, so they said screw it, we'll just make the whole country of United States. Coming in at a whopping 5,000 square kilometers, we have the map of USA with all of the cities. Um, okay, well, fine, not all of the cities are in here, but I'm not gonna knock them for it because this is still a crazy ambitious idea, like where else have you literally seen an entire country as the map? Yeah, never. That's what I thought. This is one map that I've played around and explored quite a bit, and I still feel I haven't seen half of it. From the United States to post-apocalyptic United States, we have Fuel. This is almost triple the size of the crew, having a map that is 14,400 square kilometers. This map literally just keeps going on forever. Seriously, go on it, drive in any direction, and keep on driving in that same direction. You're not gonna find the end. The one catch to this map is that it's a wasteland and there's not too many exciting things to see on the way. They went for a more barren landscape kind of feel. However, you can't deny that they created close to the biggest map in all of video games. But I do believe there's one map that is bigger. Anyways, the, the question you guys have all been waiting for, the number one biggest open world in any video game is... The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. This. Take a dagger, let it fall, that's it. The biggest world in any video game. Beautiful. This map is, and hopefully I'm getting this number right, 160,579 square kilometers. That is massive. It is literally bigger than the entire country of England. That's crazy. Like, sure, if you look at it, well, it kind of looks like ass. But the sheer scale and ambition of this project is just crazy. This map was made all the way back in 1996, and even then it still had the record, and today still no other game has beaten it. To save on power, this map had some elements in it being procedurally generated, uh, meaning some of the trees and bushes would randomly just be placed in as the player walked to them. But the landscape itself and the map is all static. It is the same map every single time. And that goes for the cities and villages in this map as well. And there we have it. Now we've looked at all of the biggest open worlds in video games. As for this open world, yeah, it's not too bad. The graphics out here are amazing, but the gameplay kind of sucks. The soundtrack's also really great until the 2000s update. That was just okay. That's it from me. I still have plenty to do in this world. Plenty of side quests and adventuring left to explore. Thanks for sticking around this long, and I will see you guys next time.